Hi guys, Colossus here. Welcome back to a new video. Today was going to be a Doctor Who review, or a Pokemon Blue version, or whatever it was going to be. But instead of that, which will be coming probably this week, um, I will be. This is happening a lot, you see. Um, I wanted to tell you guys why I've been off air this time, um, and I want to. This is going to be a general video. Um, I want to do several things in this video. Um, I'm going to give a top five um, things that I'd like to see in um, certain genre, Super Smash Bros. But I'll come on to that. I want to show you some Lego custom, uh, uh, yeah, customs that I've been doing, and um, just want to mention a few things about the channel. So yeah, I'll start by um, giving a recommendation to a very good company, um, or it's, or it's a shop in um, my town of Yate, which is called Frame Junkies. Now, as you know, I film my videos on this very trusty iPod, and I have been doing so ever since I started my YouTube channel. Not one video has been filmed without this thing. On the last day of school, in July, which was year 9, about three months after I started my channel, my iPod fell out the door of a bus. It was closed, and it fell out the gap of the bus when it was going around the corner. Wow, I know. and. It could have been worse, the iPod could have not worked completely. It did turn on, but it had a massive crack on the right side of the screen. And then, to make matters worse, about six months later, the lock button jammed. And then, my charge broke, and it ran out of charge. Which meant, my iPod was virtually broken, and I couldn't use it. That was until I went to Phone Junkies, and I got it fixed. And it was forty pounds to get the fix, um, the screen fixed, and he fitted my home button with, with, um, a thing that could lock the screen, which is very helpful and sort of turn it offish. So that worked really well, and I recommend them if you live in the area and your iPhone or your iPod or something's broken, go there. You'll get a really good deal. Did it in forty-five minutes. Um, I can't recommend them enough. Um, um, really, really, really good place to get it fixed, rather than going to Apple and getting it shipped off for a few weeks. It's a really, really good alternative. Um, secondly, I've been doing some Lego Smash Bros customs, um, and I thought I'd show you them. So firstly, um, I've actually built a micro stage, which is, to be honest, I used instructions for this from the Pengu Batman Penguin face-off which is basically the bit of ice. So it's sort of meant to be the summit-ish, but I've just used that really, and I have built another minifigure. I've sort of dismantled ones I did before, and I'm going to remodel them to make them more lifelike. But here's one of them, Wario. Now I know that helmet's not yellow, but I really like the outfit for him, because it's from the mechanic, and it really suits him actually. It's the perfect jacket for him. I know the trousers aren't perfect, but I want to give them a different look, so... They can be a bit different from the game counterparts. But the head was originally Mario's, but now I thought it doesn't look like Mario at all. So I'm going to hopefully get the Mexican guy from the Lego movie, because he's got a friendlier face with a moustache. I'll probably use that for Mario or Luigi. And then this will be Wario's face, which is very good. Also built some items. Easiest item to make in the world, a Pokeball. Literally two studs on top of each other. Um, one of those freezy things, which comes on freezes you, just a uh, two by one block there, like creamy or it can be see through or blue or whatever. Two one by one see through blocks there, two, one, um, two blue transparent studs, and then two of these standard transparent pieces for that. And then a bomb, which is basically one of the penguins, but um, changed up a bit to make it look more like a bomb. And you know what, I do really like this one. I think it's really good. So, this could be a little set, I guess. And it's alright, it's basically Wario, a micro stage, and three items. It's alright, not too bad. Quite happy with it. So, yeah, um, the channel in general is going okay. Um, I'm really happy with subscribers. My time of Doctor review has got five, over 500 views. I was so happy about that. 500 views ain't bad for a video. Definitely, I'm really happy with that. So thank you so much if anyone's watched that at all. Um, I have been off air because the iPod broke. That is the main reason. 
and I have got mocks coming up. I know I keep going off air and then coming back on for a few episodes and that is going to happen a lot in a minute. I am, I am sorry for regular people who are like, I know I, I myself, like when I want to watch a We Rike to Pray video, like it's a gaming channel. And today I was waiting for a part of the video to come up, it did come up for ages, like, oh come on, why aren't you uploading? But I shouldn't do that, because I do exactly the same thing. You know, people have lives apart from YouTube, um, many people do. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things. Um, and next up, um, I'm going to do a top five. Now, usually I do a separate video for this, but because it's quite quick, it will be characters, I think, will not return to um, Super Smash Bros. 4. Now, I did something a bit like this, but it's a general thing. Today, I'm going to do the characters I think definitely won't be in it. This means they haven't been confirmed, and I think they won't be in it. It's not necessarily saying I don't want them to be in it, but... So, here we go. <coughs> in fifth place, the character, one of the characters I don't think will make it in, is Lucas. Now, the reason I don't think Lucas will be in this game is because that there hasn't been any Earth Bangers for ages at all. Um, Mother of Three or anything. So, there's a little advertisement on it. Like a lot of the retro games. Like I know Pit had a big revival not so long ago with Uprising. But, loads of these games. Ice Climbers, Metroid, really. You know, a lot of these games aren't getting much recognition. And if I'm honest, I've found this one of them. Um, I know the original I've found has been released on the shop recently, and that has Ness, so I think Ness will be in the game, considering he's been in all three so far. Well, I don't think Lucas will make it this time round. Maybe a character from Earthbound, maybe, but not from Mother 3, so I think Lucas is out. Fourth, character I don't think will be in it is Rob. Because Rob was quite a strange character, and I don't think anyone really expected Rob to be in the next game. He was, and it was nice seeing Rob, but I don't think he'll be in the next game. I just think One Hit Wonder, it was a nice weird character, but I don't think it'll have the same effect rolling through to the next time. So I think Rob will not be in the next game. Third, I reckon, will not be in the next game. Um, was the Pokemon Trainer. Now this isn't necessarily saying there's not going to be a Pokemon Trainer in the next game. Which, um, in fairness, might not be either. But I don't think that's going to be red, definitely, because I think that I know lots of the Kanto Pokemon especially were definitely looked back upon in X and Y and definitely revised sort of with the Megas and stuff and getting the Kanto starter within the game. But I um, don't think that they're as popular as they used to be. And um, it was a really nice addition to Brawl, but I don't know if they can do that. I mean, we've already got Pikachu, Lucario, probably going to get Jigglypuff, Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo on the. Hopefully, I pray Mega Mewtwo be in there. I don't know now Lucario's being announced. But, you know, I don't know if there's going to be a Pokemon trainer. It'd be nice if there is, but, you know, it'll be a shame if there isn't, but we'll have to see. Second, um, now this isn't necessarily on character, but I think it's going to be Wolf won't be in the next game. I think the Star Fox character will be cut, but I don't, it definitely won't be Fox because he's been confirmed anyway. Now I don't think it's going to be Falcon because he's been in since Melee and he's quite a main character. I think Wolf because he was introducing Brawl. I don't think Wolf's that popular really. I mean, I think a lot of people would rather go for Fox or Falco than Wolf. In many cases, Falco is least popular, but I I don't I don't know if you can see Wolf being in that game. I just don't see it myself. I mean, no, I don't, I don't think it, it was quite a nice surprise the first time around, but I don't know if it's going to happen again. Um, now before I move on to the next one, um, two honourable mentions that I think might not be in this game. Um, Captain Falcon is one of them. I'll be heartbroken if Captain Falcon is not in this game but I don't think he will because F-Zero again is one of those games that's becoming less popular it hasn't been titled since GameCube so you know it is one of those things that might not happen but if he is I'm going to be so happy so hopefully Captain Falcon will be in the other one is Ike which I think might not be in because 
Ike, as you may know, hasn't been um, in Fire Emblem for a while, and people may forget him a bit, so maybe he won't be in this game. That's a, f a few for thought there. And the final one is Mr. Game & Watch. I mean, he's one of my favourite characters as well, but he might not be in this game. I mean, there's nothing saying that he will be or won't be, but, you know, they could ask him just to get more character space. I mean, we've already got confirmed loads of characters, 23, so, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. But a character I don't think will be in this game, almost definitely, is Snake. I, li I like Snake, I mean, he's not my favourite character. He'd probably be my top 20, or maybe scrape the top 10. He's a good character. He's powerful, he's got all the utilities you need, and he's quite a good character to play as. And like, his final smash is good. But I don't think he'll be in the next game because um, we've already got um, Mega Man and, so and Sonic as third party characters and it's difficult to get the rights and I think it was so difficult to get the rights just to use Snake in Brawl so I don't know if they're going to be able to do that again which is why I don't think he'll be in it uh, for realistic reasons Sonic is more believable because A he's been confirmed but it's more likely Sonic would be confirmed because Zega and Nintendo are more close to partnership now. But, um, you know, it's one of those things, but it would be nice for Snake to be in the game, but I don't think he will. So that's it, a kind of catch up episode. Coming up, I promise there will be Second Doctor a Dalek review and Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. That will be coming up in the next five days, I promise. Those two videos will come up by the end of the week. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for your support. And um, any ideas for anything on this channel, please um, don't hesitate to ask or um, um, write a comment. So please keep on rate, commenting and subscribing. And I should see you again soon. So thank you guys and see you later.